Hi, welcome to the Yale University Art Gallery in New Haven, Connecticut. Please come on in and have a seat. This is Stories and Art. Hi, my name is Rachel and I'm a fellow at the Yale University Art Gallery. Today I'll be telling a story called The Adventures of Kintaro based on the Japanese folktale collected by Ye Theodora Ozaki. We will be looking at two prints that illustrate a scene from the story. This picture is a print by the Japanese artist Totoya Hoke. It was probably made in 1820. What do you notice? I notice that the boy and the fish are about the same size. They are in water and their bodies are twisted together. I wonder if they're both having fun wrestling. This is another picture we will talk about later in the story. It is a print by the same artist made around 1830. What do you notice? I notice that the fish is bigger. I can see all of its scales. I also notice in both of these prints that there is writing next to the picture. Keep looking as I tell the story, The Adventures of Kintaro, and see what else you notice. Long, long ago, far away from the city, a little boy and his mother lived in the lonely forests of the Ashigara Mountains. The boy's name was Kintaro, or the Golden Boy. Now, the remarkable thing about Kintaro was his great strength, and as he grew older, he grew stronger and stronger, so that by the time he was eight years old, he was able to cut down trees as quickly as any woodcutter. Kintaro grew up in the mountains and made friends with the animals. Some of his best friends were the bear, the deer, the monkey, and the rabbit. One day, Kintaro was walking through the mountains with his friends when they came upon the banks of a wide river flowing through the valley. They stopped and Kintaro said, this is a great place for a wrestling match. The bear roared, that sounds like fun. I'm the strongest animal, so I will clear a space. With her big paws, she dug up the earth and patted it flat. First, the monkey and the rabbit wrestled. It was a close match, but finally the monkey surprised the rabbit by grabbing its ear. Ouch, said the rabbit, you win. Next, Kintaro and the bear wrestled. Again, it was a very close match. The bear was big and strong, but Kintaro was quick. Finally, the bear was so tired that she gasped, ah, you win, Kintaro, I'm too tired. The deer and the rabbit were just about to start a new wrestling match when suddenly everyone heard a voice from below. What a strong young boy. Kintaro, can you swim? Come wrestle me in the river. The group of friends turned around and saw a giant fish called a carp. Kintaro thought for a moment and said, I've never tried wrestling in the water. It sounds like fun. He jumped into the river and started wrestling with the carp. From the shore, Kintaro's friends saw great splashes of water as the two fought up and down the river. They saw Kintaro's knee burst through the water and then the carp's fins as they wrestled. Kintaro's hair spread out as the water whooshed around him. After a long time, Kintaro and the carp decided to call it a tie. Kintaro, you are truly a strong child. No one has ever come so close to beating me, said the carp. When Kintaro returned to the riverbank, his friends cheered for him. By this time, it was getting dark. There was no bridge across the river, and the monkey and the rabbit did not want to swim. The rabbit looked around seriously and asked, How will we cross the stream and get home this evening? Kintaro said, I will make a good bridge for you all in just a few minutes. Kintaro found a tree growing along the river bank, took hold of the trunk, and pulled it with all his might. So great was Kintaro's strength that the roots gave way and the tree fell over. With the help of his new friend, the carp, Kintaro pulled the tree across the river, forming an excellent bridge. As Kintaro and his four friends walked over the bridge, the bear exclaimed, How strong he is! How strong he is! Kintaro, the rabbit, the monkey, the bear, and the deer waved to the carp and walked home. Kintaro's strength was so great that people started to notice. Soon, he and his mother were invited to the city so that he could train as a samurai. We don't know about all the adventures he had, but we know he never forgot about his friends in the forest.
the end. Here's another print of Kentaro and the carp that shows us what Kentaro might have looked like when he was older. What do you notice? It seems like the carp has grown too. I wonder if Kentaro went back to wrestle the carp again when they were both older. The poem on the side of the print, written in Japanese, tells us a little bit more about how strong Kentaro is. It suggests that since he is strong enough to stop a boat from moving, wrestling a carp should be easy. What do you think it would look like if Kentaro and his forest animal friends met when they were older? Take a piece of paper and pencil and draw what you imagine. Then try writing a poem about the scene in your drawing. Have fun! Thank you for joining us for Stories and Art at the Yale University Art Gallery. We hope you enjoyed listening and looking with our storyteller.